Good evening. As we first reported on WXII12.com this afternoon, a civil suit has been filed today against WXII12 News morning anchor Tolly Carr and three Winston-Salem bars. This all stems from an accident that killed Casey Bakhoven. Howard Bakhoven, the victim's father, is behind this lawsuit. And Angela Pellerano joins us now live with tonight's big story at 5 o'clock. Angela? Wanda and Cameron, according to the complaint, the Bakhovens are seeking more than $10,000 in damages for the death of their son. This complaint is attacking bar for allegedly serving Tolly Carr, the driver police say struck and killed Casey Bakoven. The complaint also reveals more about what may have happened the morning of March 11th. This is the complaint, 15 pages long, detailing events that allegedly occurred the morning of March 11th along West 1st Street. It states, quote, Prior to running over Casey Bakoven, Carr frequented five bars that served him alcoholic beverages and then made the conscious decision to drive his truck knowing that he had consumed too much alcohol. But only three bars are named in the civil suit, Sixth and Vine, Sounds on Burke Street, and the Burke Street Pub. The suit alleges that Carr consumed alcohol the night of March 10th and the morning of March 11th at 6th and Vine. It states he then went to Sounds on Burke, where he drank more, and finally ended up at the Burke Street Pub before getting behind the wheel. But the manager at Burke Street Pub says he never served Carr, nor did any of his employees. I don't believe that anyone else, uh, one of his friends or anything, bought him a drink because I asked my security people if he was seen with a drink in his hand because obviously one of my biggest concerns after hearing of the accident was whether we had served him or not. And nobody of my staff had said that he, they'd seen him with a drink in his hand. Jacob Hale says he remembers seeing Carr at about 1.30 in the morning and even spoke to him. He seemed, he seemed visibly intoxicated. Um, um, at 2 o'clock in the morning, sometimes there are people that are visibly intoxicated. And um, I actually talked to him for very brief, about 30 seconds, you know, how's the weather, basically, and um, told him to be careful, have a good night, and uh, I'd see him some other time. Tolly Carr is being sued on both punitive and compensatory damages. The suit alleges, quote, statements he made after killing Casey Bakov and shows that he was aware of the probable consequences of his conduct. He said, don't call the cops, don't call the cops. I think I'm in big trouble. It also alleges Carr told a police officer at the scene, there was a person under my car when I got out of the truck. Yeah, I was driving. It is all my fault. My life is over. According to the state crime lab, Carr's blood alcohol level was 0.13, almost four hours after the accident. This civil suit alleges it was 0.20 when Carr allegedly hit and killed Casey Bakoven. The Bakoven family declined to comment about the civil suit, but their attorneys tell me that all the information in this complaint came from the district attorney's office and police reports. Let's send it back to you. Thank you, Angela. Casey Bakhoven was struck and killed not too far from his apartment on West 4th Street back on March 11th. Bakhoven was 26 years old. He worked as a chef at Forsyth Country Club. I said 4th Street. I meant 1st Street. I apologize for that. Now, in the criminal case against Tolly Carr, prosecutors will present several aggravating factors at Carr's trial. They will try to convince a judge or a jury that Carr used his truck as a weapon. The charges against him include felony death by motor vehicle, that's a class E felony. Also, serious, e serious injury by motor vehicle, that's a class F felony. And then the initial charge of DWI. And for more on the deadly accident investigation and to see a copy of the civil lawsuit filed today, you can log on to WXII12.com.